Listen, I just popped open the Robinhood investing app. And I got to say that there is a new update that I am absolutely stoked for. You see, Robinhood teased an interface upgrade like over a year ago at this point. And it's kind of finally here. I think they're going to roll it out step by step in different phases, but there's a lot of cool features to this. Now, this is all part of their bigger plan to introduce a ton more to the app that I think is really going to revolutionize investing. Now, this is the same company that actually forced all other brokerages pretty much to offer free trades, commission free trading, and they're going to be doing some really cool things here in the future. One of the biggest things that I'm most excited for is they are trying to tokenize different investments so you can actually invest 24 hours out of the trading week. And then on top of that, they're doing through tokenizing, giving you access to invest in private companies. Yes, private companies that haven't even hit the stock market yet. And I really think that this sort of app update is just phase one in what we're going to be seeing here. So I'm super excited for all of that. Now in this video, I want to break down what the new update looks like, kind of just do a walkthrough of the interface and uh, let's just jump in. Okay, so right off the bat, we're on the homepage of the Robinhood investing app now. And you can see at the bottom, we actually lost a tab, we lost our Roth IRA tab. What's really cool is this is all kind of combined in the home screen interface here. At the very top of this, you can see you have these different accounts that you have within Robinhood. This is where they all kind of reside now. So you have your investing your Roth IRA, your spending joint accounts and strategies. Now, this is kind of interesting. I haven't really looked too much into the joint and strategies now. But if you wanted more information, you could just simply click on them at the top. And you can access the accounts, you can open up like joint accounts, if you have somebody that you're investing with, if you've got you want to do strategies, basically, Robinhood has experts that will manage your portfolios for you. But there is a fee associated with that up till you have 100k in here, anything over 100k, there's no fees associated with it. I haven't really done too much digging on this, perhaps in the future, I'll make a video dedicated to uh, Robinhood strategies, whether or not I think it's worth it. But let me just go back to sort of the investing tab. Now, one thing that this is still missing is an overall sort of everything that you have in Robinhood is sort of tab that you could just click into easily look at your gains your losses what that kind of looks like you still kind of get that if you hit the little guy icon in the very bottom right here and you can see it kind of aggregates everything here you can see your total individual value individual holdings your cash and your crypto holdings everything all added up so in my entire Robinhood investing application I've got about sixty six thousand dollars invested this is where I see that overall but I can't see like return numbers on it and you can see the retirement value the spending all those different things within this section but again for the purpose of this let's go back to the home screen because there are some new features that honestly i haven't seen before and it makes this update really cool so everything kind of looks normal you still get the uh the day the week the month the three months you can look at your year to date your one year all of the different investment types that you have in terms of your return you could do it in your investing account and then boom you could click over into your roth ira and you can do the same thing here now you might be wondering holy crap like i lost all my crypto where did my crypto go there's a couple different ways you can access that first if you scroll down you can see all the different stocks and etfs this is in my roth ira which is what it's set to at the top but if i go back to my investing account here and i scroll down you can see my crypto is housed right within this section here so i could click into the bitcoin that i have scroll down and then boom just like that you can see the return on bitcoin so that's the crypto section it's easy to access through the home page you can click on crypto it's going to take you into that next tab at the bottom which also is just solely focused on crypto so they did not remove that tab like they did with the Roth IRA. But yeah, it's just uh, it's just something interesting there. So the other way you access that again, at the bottom with all those icons, you click the little crypto icon it moves over and then boom, you're right back in there. So pretty straightforward so far. Something else that I noticed, you can see all of your stocks and ETFs that you're investing in down here, I'm just going to scroll past that. Uh, you've also got your prediction markets. And then here you can also see the recurring investments that you've set up. So you can see I've got my Bitcoin weekly buy and my Robinhood. I've actually been investing more in Robinhood stock, which is pretty interesting. Cool that I'm making a video on Robinhood dedicated to it. Actually, their stock for me has been doing really well. If I go in and check out what the return is on something like Robinhood, if I scroll in, you can see I'm up 12%. My average cost around $88. And I think it's up over, oh yeah, it's $99 right now. It's been hovering around 100 for a little bit. Then as you scroll down, you can see what's going on with your watch list. These are different lists that I created, different times. I mean, I really got to clean some of this stuff out. I don't usually use watch lists all that much nowadays, but it's just a good spot to aggregate and sort of look at investments that you were considering buying, or if you wanted to build like sort of fake portfolios, this is kind of like the section that I would do it in. Another really cool thing is as you are on the homepage, I'm just trying to find this new section that I just noticed is realize profit and loss. So this is really cool. You can see that my year to date, the only real action I've done on the stock market 
has been sold something to buy another stock. I can't even remember what I ended up selling out of, but I took a loss of $74.80 on it. And this is just like a little section that you have all of your realized profits and loss. You can see your max realized profit and loss, your year to date, three months, one month, and one week. So this is kind of new to me. I've never really seen this section. And you can see, you know, I don't know how accurate this is right now for me, but all time in terms of what I'm like buying and selling, I'm up about 571 in terms of realized gains. Now, I personally don't really sell that much. And that's why I haven't seen like more recognized gains or realized losses because I'm mainly just buying stocks and holding for the extremely long term. Now, if I go back, I mean, that's kind of like the main principle of what's been changed on this home screen here. And it's uh, pretty cool in my opinion. So real quick, another addition to this is if you wanted to hide the values on your account, let's say you were like popping into this, you're talking to a friend, you're a little bit uneasy about showing them your actual portfolio value, the numbers behind it. You can now click on the number at the top in your portfolio and it's going to disappear all those numbers. So it's really cool if you wanted to just go and like talk through different things without having all of your financial information be apparent to the first person that looks at this application. I've, I know some people who are pretty in particular about their investments. They don't want to share the values. So that's just one way you can do that right there. Now I'm pretty transparent with the money that I have here. So I leave it on. The other thing that I noticed is that um, recurring buy section that I talked about earlier. Now this is just for the investments that I have like in my Bitcoin, in my cryptocurrency, I mean, and in my regular investment, my individual account that is taxable. If I click into my Roth IRA, you're going to see if I scroll down, you can see those other recurring buys. Now I have been buying every single day, SCHD and BTI. I've made a couple videos about the process and the progress on that. If you want to check those out, it's really cool. Now, those are really the main updates in this application. If you go to the search tab, nothing else has really changed. If you look for a stock that you want to invest in, an ETF, whatever it is, everything in here is sort of similar. You got the digest, you've got uh, the chart that you have that normally you can get your stats in here and you can do the trade, buy, sell, trade options. Like everything else is pretty normal in here. And the last thing that I want to mention that I've been talking about in some of the other videos is that Robinhood Gold to me is entirely worth it. You can see that my lifetime earnings with Robinhood Gold is $915.86. That's because I got $851 when I transferred my Roth IRA in. This is something you want to take advantage of if you have not. I'll have a link to Robinhood Gold down in the description of this video. And I've also got a video that breaks down how it can actually be worth it that you definitely want to check out. Now you can see I've been a member since March of 2024 at $50 a year. I've literally paid what a hundred dollars total and made over nine hundred dollars so definitely worth it in my opinion but again check out that video next now i think that pretty much covers the updates that they've made nothing too flashy yet but i think you should be on the lookout for some of the app updates they have in the future i'm super excited for what those turn out to be thank you guys for checking out this video if you made it this far make sure you leave it a like and uh have a great day